Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, Alhamdulillah, we are meet again. Uh, we meet again in our English class. Good good morning, everyone. So uh, I hope that you are in active and happy mood like this mouse, right? Okay. So uh, have a sunny day and please. Uh, As usual, recite doa first, and then we start back our class. Okay, so today is Sunday, twenty fourth October two thousand twenty one. Ah, actually, we will do revision of our module one. Okay, do you still remember the title of our module one? Ah, the title is. Well, welcome, welcome. Ah, okay, selamat datang kan? Okay, yang kita belajar yang first kali dulu. Okay, kita tengok hari ni. Uh, we will revise what we have learned in our module one. Okay, nanti insya Allah kita akan ada penilaian ataupun latihan untuk uji awak punya kefahaman, your understanding in English uh, from. Uh, Module 1 until module 5 insyaAllah. Okay, so I will do the revision eh. Start from today. Okay, so what we have learned in module 1, we have learned about this. Ha, apa yang Mu'alimah bulatkan ni? Ha, okay, this one. I, we learn about pronoun actually. Kata ganti nama, diri I. I, the meaning of I is saya. Ha, okay, saya. So, I am or I'm, saya ialah, kan? Okay, so, next, what we have learned, his, and also his, like this, okay. So, he is, his, he, ah, dia lela, lelaki, kan? Then, we have learned about her and she's, okay, she is. She's ataupun she is ialah dia perempuan. Okey, jadi I saya, he dia lelaki, she dia perempuan. You must remember this one eh. Okey, so pronoun kata ganti nama diri tadi you, awak. Ah. Okey, yang ni senang je tapi muallimah revise your back, refresh balik. I saya, I and mujahid. Ah, for example lah, I and he. The name is, oh, the name Mujahid. Nah, he ni kata ganti nama lah bagi Mujahid ni. I or Mujahid. I uh, and Iman, she, I and you. This one, we call it as we. Kami or kita. Kalau dua orang. More than one. eh, More than one. And, uh, Salah seorang yang seorang lagi tu adalah saya, kita panggil kita ataupun kami. Okay, so when he and he or she and she or also she or she plus he. Uh, the pronoun we use is they, mereka. Okay, they, mereka and then it for things or animals. In Malay, we call it as ear. Then, we also learn about some physical appearance, vocabulary for physical appearance. Pretty, ugly, you still remember right? Pretty, cantik, ugly. Ah, hodo. But, I, I'm also re, uh, remind you that, please don't simply say someone is ugly. Because Rasulullah SAW forbid us from insulting people. Jadi, jangan... Senang-senang nak guna word ugly. Okay, so then. We learn about straight hair. Rambut lurus. Curly hair. Rambut kerinting, right? Okay, then. Blonde hair. Ha, yang ni rambut yang berwarna lah. Blonde hair atau rambut berwarna perang. Okay, then purple. Warna ungu. And then pronoun, okay, this is what uh, we conclude back our lesson. I, you, we, they, he, she, it. 
This is the pronoun or in Malay we call it as kata ganti nama diri. And then the vocabulary of physical appearance. Pretty, ugly, straight hair, curly hair, blonde hair and purple. Next. Uh, the next lesson we learn in module 1 is. Okay, this one, right? I'm. Okay. Sebelum ni kita tahu I tu saya. This one, I am or I'm. Saya ialah. Ha, kita nak cakap ayat seterusnya. Saya ialah apa? Contohnya, I'm Shaki. Okay, saya, nama saya Shaki. I'm Shaki. I'm a big fish. Saya adalah ikan yang besar, kan? Awak nak cakap. Ha, contoh, awak nak cakap, I'm aman. I'm a good boy, contohnya, kan? Okay, so... Lagi kita belajar. I've got. Ah, oh, I have got. Sama je. I've got and I have got. Ah, Yang ni ni. Saya mempunyai. Saya mempunyai. Okay then. We also learn for. For boy. He. His or he is. Dia ada. Lah. Okay then. He's got. He has got. Dia mempunyai. Okay, then. Uh, we also learn about his. Uh, his ni apa pula his? Uh, kepunyaannya. Macam yang ni kan. What's his name? Apa nama kepunyaannya? His hair. Rambut kepunyaannya. Uh, his dia adalah his got. Oh, he has got. Dia mempunyai. And his kepunyaannya. Okay, then for girl, she is or she's, dia adalah. Ha. Okay, then she's got or she has got, dia mempunyai her. Okay, her. What is her? Kepunyaannya. Ha. Her eyes, mata kepunyaannya. Her name, nama kepunyaannya. Okay, then, what about other pronoun? Has got. Ha, okay. Has got ni kita guna untuk pronoun he, right? Faris. He and Faris. Ha, sama je sebenarnya. Ha, kalau kita tak guna Faris, kita guna he. Right? She, Farzana, eat, cat. Ha, ini sama eat dengan cat ni. For example, he's got. Ha, jadi, untuk he, she and eat, we use has got. Okay. Then for have got ha, Diguna untuk siapa Pronoun siapa You We I and my cousin Contohnya I and Amni They Amar Iskandar and Takiyuddin ni They lah ha, Dua orang kan He he Become they I and my cousin I and Amni yang ni ni we. Ha, sama. Tengok maklumat buat sama colour kan. We, they. Ha, ini sama colour. Ha, ni yang sama colour ni sebenarnya dia sama sahaja kan. Ha, yang ni pronoun dia. Yang ni kalau kita nak sebut dua-dua. Ha, okay. Kata kalau kita sebut I and my cousin pun sama juga. Kalau kita sebut we pun sama juga. Kan. Say, kami. Okay. Jadi untuk you, untuk we, we use Have got. Ha, yang ni has got. Yang ni have got. Okay, kita tengok ringkasan bagi. Has got and have got. Ha, this one. For he, she and it, we use has got. I, you, we, they, we use have got. Ha, yang ni kena ingat sungguh-sungguh. Nah, ni. Okay, then. Ha, we learn about the spelling of number, right? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah, okay, then. Eleven, we use. Uh, we learn about twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Ha, yang ni yang semua yang lain ini tambah E, E, N di belakang dah. Okay, teen tambah T, E, E, N di belakang. 18, 
and also 19 tengok spelling dia nombor 11 dengan 12 yang lain yang lain tu sama insyaallah okey then okey kita belajar juga number 1 kalau nak tukar jadi 10 jadi 10 number 2 become 20 ha, tambah ti di belakang 3 become 30 4 40 right ha you you must remember the spelling ni 20 30 40 50 ha 5 become 50 next okay then 6 60 7 70 8 80 9 90 and then 10 a hundred or one hundred right ah so we learn until one hundred okay and also we learn how to uh, give the name to the numbers like this ha right okay so eighty ha lapan puluh eighty and then combine with number three three and then become eighty three right. Then, 50 and 9 become 59. So, if you remember the numbers, uh, nak tulis nombor apa-apa pun boleh. Se uh, 30 and then 7. So, become 37. Right. Then, 40. Ha, yang ni kalau kita dapat dalam bentuk perkataan 46. Ha, 40 apa 40. Then 6. 6. So jadilah 46 46. Kita nak terbalikkan kan. Ha, kita belajar macam mana nak buat. 22. Ha, so 22. 22. Ha. Okay then. Uh, we learn back about heaven, God and also isn't. Yang ni negatif dah. Uh, saat ni kita belajar is and have God. Uh, sekarang kita belajar negative and positive statement. Uh, you've got a crab. Uh, awak ada uh, ni uh, seekor ketam kan? You haven't got a shell. Awak tiada. Uh, tidak mempunyai Ah uh, kerang. Okay, so kita belajar eh. That's a crab that isn't a shell. Kalau ini kalau kita nak cakap, oh yang ni ah uh, ketam, tapi ni bukan kerang. Ha, jadi bukan kita guna isn't. Tak ada kita guna haven't and ho also hasn't. Maksudnya ada perkataan not di belakang dia dah. Not, not, not. Tidak. Okay then. Uh, ni I revise back about heaven and hasn't got. Okay. Kalau kita nak jawab soalannya. Okay. Yes. We have. Have you and your friend got 20 shells? Okay. You and your friend tadi. Ha, bila kita nak jawab tu kita akan jadi we lah. Yes, I and my friend. Ha, oh yes, we. Ha, ganti bagi I and my friend. Kan, we. Ni cara nak jawab lah. Kena ingat. Okay, then. Ha, yang ni pun sama juga. Ha, lima revise je apa yang dulu kita pernah belajar. Kalau ada awak jawab has. Kalau tak ada awak jawab hasn't. Kalau dia tanya she awak kena jawab dengan she. Kalau dia tanya it kena jawab dengan it. Ha, kan? Okay. Ha, tengok kita belajar macam mana nak tulis. He's got curly hair. He hasn't got straight hair. Dia ada rambut kerinting dia tak ada rambut yang straight kan ha okey yang ni awak boleh tengoklah satu-satu dah selepas ni boleh tengok satu-satu apa yang kita belajar dulu-dulu muallim akan bagi slide ini semula okey uh, then 
it hasn't got two wings ha, Contohnya kan Dia ada empat kaki Tapi dia tak ada dua kepak Atau sayap okay, ha, Kalau kita nak cakap Ada it's got Kalau kita nak cakap tiada it hasn't got Okay then ha, Yang ni Kita belajar pula sebenarnya Can and can't okay, apa? Can ni boleh Boleh Can't tidak boleh kan okey so for can and can it's very easy because dia sama je dia tak ada has macam has got tadi kalau i you we they mesti um, has uh, i you we they mesti have he she it mesti has tapi kalau can and can dia sama sahaja untuk semua pronoun ha so for i also we use can For I, for you also we use can or can't. Yeah. Ha, jadi sama sahaja. Tak ada beza antara semua pronoun. Cuma if boleh, kita cakap can. I can, he can. Kalau tak boleh, we can't, it can't. Tak boleh. Yeah. Okay then, ha, Mak Animah ada bagi contoh. Ha, yang ni pun kita ada belajar pronoun, uh, vocabulary, write a bite kan. He can ride a bike. Kalau kita nak cakap tak boleh, he, he can't uh, ride a bike. And then swim. He can swim. He can't swim. Dance pula. It can dance. It can't dance. Uh, kan sama eh. Okay. He can play piano. He can't play piano. They can play netball. They can play netball. Uh, kan? And then, yang ni ha. He can play football. He can't play football. Jump rope. He can. Dia boleh. He can. Dia tak boleh. Uh, banyak dah kita belajar. Awak boleh tengok satu-satu. Okay. Do karate, dive uh, Kan Menyelam, ingat lagi Pain, melukis Ataupun uh, Kita buat corak, uh, mengecat Kan Then, I, you, we, they uh, Yang ni kita belajar juga Have got and haven't got Kan, uh, kalau kita nak cakap Tak, kita cakap Haven't Uh, kita belajar juga tentang has got and also hasn't got Yang ni awak boleh tengok sekali lagi Okay then Can and also can't Okay Cara jawapan untuk can and can ni lagi senang Dan sama juga macam has got We got is a uh, Contohnya kalau dia tanya soalan they Can they ride a bike Jawapan dia pun mesti use they Yes they can No, they can't Okay, kalau dia tanya soalan You and your friend ni maksudnya Mereka kan, ha, ni You and your friend, awak uh, Awak dan kawan awak, jawapan dia Kami atau kita Mesti use we can We can't Dan, ha. Jadi soalan dan jawapan Mesti sama pronoun ha, Kata ganti nama dia, we mesti sama Kalau dia tanya you mesti Kita mesti jawab I kalau dia tanya he, kita mesti jawab he. Kalau dia tanya she, mesti jawab she. Ha, macam yang ni kan? Ha, okay. Kalau dia tanya it pun, kita mesti jawab it can or it can't. Okay, after yes or no tu. Okay, Mak Ali merasa senang sangat. Jadi hari ni, awak punya exercise one ni tak ada dalam buku awak. Jadi please write in exercise book yang kecil tu dah. Okay, write in exercise book. Yang ni awak hanya salin perkataan sahaja. Gambar tak perlu lukis. Ataupun Mu'alimah akan bagi dalam bentuk PDF. Siapa yang boleh print, siapa yang nak print pun boleh print. Siapa yang tak boleh print jangan risau sebab awak boleh salin perkataan dia sahaja. Beri jawapan sahaja. Sama ada my cat ni use has got or have got. Ha. I ni use have got ke has got. The tigers. Ha, bar, ramai kan ha, Banyak harimau ni Has got ke have got Mak Alimah nak tahu awak faham ke tak Has got and have got Yang tu sahaja 
Ha, jadi boleh salin sahaja tak payah lukis gambar. Okey. Yang ni pun sama. Write dekat awak punya exercise book. Ha, yang ni pun tak payah lukis gambar. Yang ni hanya isi tempat kosong. Tengok gambar ni sama ada can atau can't. Boleh atau tidak boleh. Awak boleh tengok gambar dia. Masam. Contoh kalau masam macam ni. Can ke can't? Ha, stress je muka dia. Ha, yang ni muka happy je kan. Right. Ha, yang ni dia jatuh Then can or can ride a bike ha, Okay jadi Boleh uh, isi tempat kosong Siapa yang nak print boleh print Yang tak boleh print jangan risau Boleh salin dalam Exercise book sebab pendek-pendek sahaja Maklimah hanya nak tahu Awak faham ke tak has got and have got And also can or can't Nah Okay So hopefully I hope Really really hope You can understand, you can remember back what you have learned actually in module 1. Okay, jadi apa-apa pertanyaan boleh jumpa Mu'alimah dalam Google Meet ataupun boleh tanya nanti dah. Okay, so that's all for today. We meet again in our English class Tuesday. Okay, bye. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.